Slimy Cows Minecraft Adventure Part 1 Hey guys, what up? This is Slimy Cow here with my first Minecraft video. Yes, now before I start, you might be wondering what is Minecraft? You might know, you might not. But when we start, I'll be quite busy, you know, gathering resources, getting the important stuff. So basically what Minecraft is, Minecraft is a randomly generated sort of free roam world. It's made by one guy, okay, so the graphics aren't the best, but it is a smashing game, okay, the gameplay is amazing. You walk around collecting resources and building your house, fighting monsters, okay. The world you'll instantly see is like set up into blocks, so you've got your mud, which mud blocks, and then your stone blocks, and then as you later progress you'll find like diamond blocks and stuff, it's all in blocks, you have to mine it, or just hit it. So let's go here, single player, and then we go into an empty level, all of yours will be empty when you start. By the way this game costs about £8. I don't know what that is in dollars or anything else, so I'm sorry, but should give you a rough idea. It's just generating our world, you can see, quite quickly actually, for quite a big world. And we use the WASD keys to move, and here we are. So I'm on like a sort of beach, some water. Here's a cliff, it's quite interesting. This is your respawn point, so like every time you die you'll come back here, so it's best to build your house near your respawn point. So instantly I could just like dig into here, make a little cave house. What I normally do when I start, just dig out a house rather than build one, because it's much quicker, saves resources. Later on you can just build a nice house, but first I'm not going to build it fully yet because we want to get our important resources. Now to survive your first night you're going to need to get these important resources which are wood and coal. Coal being the harder to find, wood is just on trees as you could guess. So here we are. Use the right click to sort of dig stuff and left click place this stuff which is in your inventory. So get this wood which is good stuff. Plop. Wood, wood, wood. I love wood. Getting lots of wood. Here we go. Okay. So we mine about two big trees of wood, probably. You can get as much as you like. Here we go. So you the really big trees, they get a bit deformed. There's random wood stuff. Anyway. Wood, wood, wood. I love wood. So here we go. See, when it falls off, it comes up as these sort of little mini cubes which you can collect. Quite interesting. So here we go. Ten. I love wood. There we go, that's what I can reach. So twelve. I might get a bit more actually. Wood. As you can see, there's a cow over there in the distance. There is farm animals in this game, yeah, quite hilarious actually. You get pigs, cows, chickens, and a sheep, I think. You need the pigs definitely because they give you bacon, which allows you to regenerate your health, which you will need because if you're daring enough, you will go and attack monsters. There's a lot of pigs. Might get some bacon. Bacon, give me your bacon. Attack. Die. Die, piggy. There we go. Oh, no bacon. Ah, oh, perfect. Do you have bacon? Die. I want your bacon. Oh, there we go. Two bacon. Love. Oh, I've got three. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to look for coal, which is the hardest. But look over here some caves. Normally coal is found near stone in caves sort of like this, so hopefully we should find some. Oh look there, instantly. Right. Coal is this stuff, you've got the black dots in the stone. That is coal. And it, we use it to like make torches and all sorts of things. Good things. Okay, first to make it easier to mine, press I to go into our inventory, get our wood, 
and make it into a little box. Oh, and that didn't work because I first need to make it into this refined wood. So you just keep clicking, get some refined wood. See how stuff works. Then make it into a box. And that is a crafting box, which is very important. Also, if you put two above each other, get some sticks, which are also quite important. So there we go. Now, scroll to our box, place it. And now, we can make all sorts of things, like a pickaxe, which is really useful in this game, since it is called Minecraft. There we go, I'll get two. Good enough for now, because later on we can just make stone tools which are better than wood ones. So here we go, we can mine our coal. Coal, coal, coal! Oh, there's lots of it. Du, 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 du. Much quicker than using your hands, you'll notice. <laughs> for stone, anyway. But t if you use tools inappropriately, they do break quicker. Because yes, tools break in this game, which you'll find annoying. You have to keep making a lot of the same stuff. Here we go. Lots of coal. That's good stuff. That should be enough to... And I'll have a look around. If I destroy this toolbox, I can just pick it up. So it's just, you know, recycling. Oh, look in this little cave. There might be some more coal. Hmm. Cows. You know what? If I get my crafting box, I can make another tool. That being a sword. Put one stick and two blocks of wood. Make a sword now. Perfect for slaughtering innocent farm animals. Die! Cows give you cow hide, which allows you to make one of the most basic armors to protect you against the evil monsters or just cows if you like killing cows. Oh look, a jumping cow must die. Die, cow. There we go. Sorry to all the um, vegetarians out there, but there is a lot of farm animal killing in this game. Oh, look at the little duck slash goose slash funny white fluff ball. Anyway, I'll get to my crafting box. Oh look, iron. Yes, that is a good place to explore. I just have to remember where it is. Oh look, iron again. I have to remember this. It's good stuff. Oh, lots of coal. And iron. Yes, that stuff with the... where'd it go? It with the lighter spots is iron, which is really good. It's better than stone tools. But it's harder to find than stone. I love coal. Good to get as much as you can. Later on you'll probably have too much coal, but at first you really need it. Because otherwise you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> right, that's enough mining. Got to find my house. Which I appear to have lost. <laughs> Not to fear. Where is my... Oh dear, it's getting dark. All the creepy monsters will come out. Oh, there it is. Time to dig me a big house. Oh. I'm using bacon to dig. I'm so cool. Don't want creepy things getting in my house. Dig, dig, diggy, dig, diggy, diggy, dig. Place it here. Right, if I put blocks in two, in the first two columns, I will get a door. And then, if I put wood here, 
wood sticks there and some coal. I get lots of light. Yay! Now I can see what I'm actually doing. So we place some. Put the door in a good position. There we go. Just click it to open it. Getting a bit dark now, so I better place my lights. There we go. Good stuff. Now I better make my house a bit bigger. So here we are, got a nice little house here. Quite quickly made, got our main materials. Now, as well as the crafting box, we've got some other important appliances we can put in our house. So let's go ahead in here. I think, oh no, we've got some stone, put it in a circle, or well, a square, but with the hollow middle. And I'll get a stove. That's good stuff. And if I do the same with the wood, I should get a storage box, which is helpful because when you collect loads of materials, which you will do, you will get too much stuff in your inventory. I'm actually going to make two because there's a little thing you can do with two storage boxes, which I will show you. So, get my stove or oven or whatever you want to call it and place it in the court oh, that was badly placed oh well and then I get my storage boxes see if I place one there and then place another one they join together to make a massive storage box I can put all the stuff I don't want to use at the moment like this tree now the stove very important for cooking bacon. You have to use coal for everything you want to put in here. The arrow will show when the bacon is ready and when it's cooked. The point of cooking bacon is it, it just heals more of your health basically. It's worth doing if you're at home. Bacon on its own does heal health but just not as much. There we go. So if I get in a bit of trouble I've got some bacon. Now before I end I'll see if I can find some creepies just so you know what you're facing. I don't know if you can see over in the distance it looks like a zombie jumping up and down. I'm on a hill so it's going to be quite hard to see stuff. Anyway. Boing boing. Jumping is fun. Let's see. Any creepies? Oh look there we have spiders. Another zombie in the distance. There should be skeletons which shoot arrows which are really annoying. All the others are like close combat attacks. Then there's these things which look like penises and they explode. They are annoying. They're actually called creepers but most people seem to call them exploding penises which at first is hilarious but gets annoying when you get constantly blown up by them. Don't know if I can find any. Exploding penises. Oh. It's a very quiet night. Sometimes you get whole hordes of them. Oh there we go. Oh it's a skeleton. Run away. Run away! Luckily they've got pretty bad aim. So oh dear it's a zombie. That's a zombie if you wanted to know what one looks like. Die! There we go. They drop feathers for some reason. I can hear them, so I'm going to make my escape. But there we go. Oh, look. See where my house is because of the light. The light shines from my house. I don't know why I said that. I just like singing random bits, so you should get used to that. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos, you know, just views, subscribe, comment. This is actually my first ever YouTube video, so just if I'm doing something wrong, just please tell me. And if you like it, please subscribe. So thank you very much, and I'll hopefully see you next time.